All right, Sketchpad Podcast, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the content. So today we're going to be talking about racism in the music industry. And is certain artists racist? And why do people call them racist? So let's get into it. So if you want to donate to the Sketchpad podcast, the PayPal and the uh, cash app is in the description. So if you would like to donate to our cause and what we're doing out here, we're doing a lot of work out here. If you don't have any way to donate, then you can also share the video with people and tell people about the uh sketchpad podcast and that's it so so the topic of today is very 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 sensitive to certain people and i'm going to talk about how i feel about it and why i think you know certain people are just misinformed so someone one of the one of somebody in the comments said that tom mcdonald was a racist and I usually get this all the time with Caucasian or white rappers where black, black people or people that are not white will say that a certain artist is racist because they disagree with their stance on certain things. My problem with a lot of these people who say these things is they don't have any proof of anything. They just literally go off of how they feel. Because this is what they've been told. So it's like, oh, well, it seems like that. Or when someone says something that you disagree with, they'll say you're racist. So you might, you might, um, let's say you might not like something that someone did. And they'll say, well, the only reason why you don't like it because you're racist. It's that word has been diluted so much that it doesn't mean anything anymore. You know what I'm saying? Now, the question is, is Tom McDonald racist? Absolutely not. That doesn't. No. How does that even fit his character? You know what I'm saying? Because he says things that you disagree with that makes him racist. To me, I think a lot of people just hate Tom McDonald because he's one of those people that is not going to just let you say whatever you want to say without him saying, no, that's not right. Whether white or black. And it's like okay, so he's racist towards black people, but when he talk when he calls out white people, he's not racist. <laughs> like, like it doesn't make sense. Maybe he just call out people. Maybe he calls out the hypocrisy in either one. So, I think this whole term of racism to me is I look at I beat battle and I look at all the people that I travel with, and it's multicultural white black asian whatever i don't I, I think that the narrative of racism is being pushed to keep people divided yeah that's how i feel because all these young kids they don't know nothing about that this is why they want to continuously and i i listen i understand that people need to learn history but this is the reason why they want to continuously push history because they know that if they can keep breeding people to hate each other, then they can keep making money off of it. Because mm. these kids nowadays, they don't care about race. They don't. You know how I many people who are married to the opposite um, opposite uh, ethnicity? Mm. So I'm going to let you go, man. Well, you know, like I told you before, um, I definitely don't think Tom McDonald's racist. You know, y'all got to come up with something better than that. He's not racist. You know, he's speaking up for the people and he's speaking up for himself. He's speaking up for the people that can't speak for themselves. You know what I'm saying? 
He's literally putting himself out there on the line, in the line of fire. Like he's literally, he's literally crucifying himself. Like, you know, no pun intended, you know, like, you know, religion, Jesus and everything. Like he's literally crucifying himself. Like he's getting the straps and everything. Mm -hmm. And the best thing they could come up with, oh, he's racist because he's tackling topics that, uh, that you don't want to tackle or you don't want to hear. That's the whole point. You know what I mean? They don't want you to hear the truth. They want you to they want to keep you brainwashed. They want you to be brainwashed so you can follow follow in line, fall in line with everybody else. You know what I mean? That's the thing. And as long as you fall in line, then you know what I mean, quote unquote, nothing's going to happen. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Yeah, right. If they want something to happen, they can make it happen. You, you know what you know what I mean? You don't have to fall in line for anything. They want it to happen, they can make it happen. That's just how the world works, you know. Um I, uh I do like like you had said before, like um I do feel they're pushing the agenda of racism, but I also think that um even without them pushing the agenda, I do think it exists in certain in certain certain places you know what i mean like i don't think i think like if you're looking for it then you're going to find it if you're not looking for it then it's not going to affect you and then there's some cases where you know what i mean you might you know what i mean run into it um children are not born racist you know what i mean let me just make that clear my kid my kid my oldest loves everybody you know what i'm saying what i'm saying he had an issue in school, you know, which which gave him a rude awakening of uh, what he might encounter moving forward. So I had to explain to him. I had to tell him, like, you know, those people are ignorant. You know what I mean? They're ignorant. If And I also had to tell him, well, if that's what that lady wants to teach her daughter or her son, then they have by every right to teach them whatever. That's their business. But you're not going to be that way. You're not going to be ignorant. Mm -hmm. You're not going to be that way. You're going to be a universal human being, and you're going to see everybody, not for the color of their skin, but for their blood. We all bleed red at the end of the day. When you strip, when you strip the color, we all are red. So mm -hmm. then what? You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I don't want my son to see color. I just want him to see... You know what I mean? Human beings, people for who they really are. That's about it. That's how I see people. Some of my best friends are white. You understand? Mm -hmm. Like I got, I got mentors that are white. So at the end of the day, like people have to stop pushing that agenda for the division. Like I'm, I'm tired of hearing about it. Like, it gets on my nerves. You know what I mean? See people on the back block. You know what I mean? Blaming the system, blaming this, blaming that. Oh, did the system put you out there on the street? I don't think so. No, you was a knucklehead. You wasn't doing what you were supposed to do. So now that's where you at. Mm -hmm. It has nothing to do with the system. It has everything to do with you. You know what I mean? And that's the problem that I have with, 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 with a lot of people, man. Like, they just continue to blame this and blame that. And I mean, instead of checking themselves, you know? Like I said, you know, I do think it exists in certain places, but I don't feel like I don't feel like it exists to the extent of where like, you know, they want to make it exist. No, it does not like that. You know what I mean? There's always going to be is I'm going to put it to you like this. As long as there's ignorant people in the world today, then it's always going to be some form of racism, whether you're black, white, Puerto Rican, whatever. As long as there's ignorant people. If there's no ignorant people, then you're probably not going to see that any racism. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know um, how? You know. Um. I will say this. Racism. As long as there hate, there's hatred. Of course, there's going to be racism in the world. From whatever, because people are just ignorant, like you said, and people just don't know. Some people just don't like certain people like they're, they're, that's just what it is. But you only can control what you doing and how your your family's moving. 
exactly. know what I'm saying? And that's what I that's how I look at it. Like people are just gonna be ignorant because they don't know no better. Or they just ignorant people. Some people are just mean. Some people are just evil. Like I wish people just understand that. Everybody can't be saved. Let's just 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 be clear. Everybody cannot be saved. Because most a lot of people don't want to be saved. No, they don't. They like where they're at in life. And if that is in in inside of the pocket of racism, then they're going to stay there. But as long as society moves at a certain pace, then it's going to be outcasted. And they ain't going to be comfortable with it. And that's how you mm-hmm. bring change. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because if everybody's on one accord and you're the only idiot out there, you're going to be looking stupid. Mm-hmm. Not to say that everybody got to be robots, but mm-hmm. if if the, if society is built around love and built around respecting each other and built around principles and morals and values, and you're the only one out here burning stuff up, you look like the crazy person. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like you look mm-hmm. like the guy that's really messing everything up. And you have people out here who are what they call them. They call them sociopaths. They like to see stuff burn. They like to see the world up in the flames. A lot of politicians are like that. They love it. A lot of politicians talk about white supremacy and racism. And guess who they're married to? A white person. Yeah. Yeah. The hypocrisy of that alone should tell you. How can you tell me? That racism exists and white supremacy and all this stuff, but you're married to a white person? Come on. <laughs> There's a lot of them out there. There's like, a lot. That does to me, that's just it's it's so it's so stupid. And I, and before we close, I'm just gonna say I don't think a lot of these artists get enough credit for what they do for other communities. No, they don't. Tom McDonald. Tom McDonald um, probably helped a lot of people in the black community with some of the stuff he said. And nobody says anything about it because they're too afraid. The same thing with Eminem. He helped a lot of, he did a lot of, a lot of things to help the black community without people knowing, without people saying anything about it. You know what I'm saying? And he don't get enough credit because some of the stuff that they, they, uh, how would I say some of the stuff that they uh they talk about and they tackle it does resonate with universally with a bunch of people mm-hmm. yeah so I mean in closing absolutely not I don't think Tom McDonald was racist that's I wish people stopped using that as a shield because they don't want to have a they don't have a coherent a coherent argument towards anything they always using the racism thing as a shield whether white or black, it's always like, well, he's racist, and I don't like that. But why is he racist? I don't, um, he said some things in the past. What'd he say? Um, I mean, I mean, I can't look at it. I have to Google it. Hold on. You got to be Google, if you got to be Google smart for everything, then obviously. Google lies to you too, a little bit. Google be having some lies in there every now and then. Man, if you, my thing is, <laughs> I'm not saying that you shouldn't Google. Because Google is a good tool to look up stuff. But my thing is, how can you Google somebody's feelings and emotions if they never said that? How can you Google that? It's like, I'm telling you, that's how he feel. Let me Google it. Be like, how do you know? He never Did he ever say it? No, nah, he never said it, but I know that's, what he, that's, how he, that's how he meant it. So I don't know, man. But yeah, Sketchpad Podcast. We out of here. Shout out to Tom McDonald, Eminem, and all the white rappers that are not racist. (laughs) Hey, man. We out of here.